guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to be here because we're finally talking a brand new Buff Bunny collection. It's been a hot minute because last month they just did a sale, no actual new pieces. So it's safe to say we are long overdue for a Buff Bunny review. It is the Inner Light Collection. Now, this collection is completely based off of the Northern Lights in Alaska. I happen to really like when Buff Bunny takes elements of Heidi's background and makes full collections out of them. They did that with the Off the Grid, and to this day, it is still one of my favorites. Same thing here with the Northern Lights, or should I say the Inner Lights Collection. <laughs> I'm gonna say Northern Lights, God, I always. <laughs> Now, if you guys are familiar with my Buff Bunny videos, typically we go over the brief, showcase everything that's gonna be available, all the pieces, colors. We do that ahead of time before we dip into what I have here. We're doing things a little differently this time. We're gonna save that for the very end, just in case you're here, just to see which pieces I chose. So if you're interested in seeing every single piece that's gonna be launching, just wait till the end. I'll have it timestamped. You can go check that out later. The Inner Light Collection is dropping. What month is this? August 12th at 2 p.m. Eastern standard time. As always, I'll have my measurements over here in the description box as well. And do keep in mind my code GATA does save you 10% on all of your Buff Bunny orders. And it also goes towards helping this channel stay alive. A lot of these pieces have that glow to them. I really think that they nailed that whole inner lights thing. These were the pieces that I chose specifically because they were the ones that stood out to me. They were my favorites. Let's start with what I'm wearing, okay? I have the Aurora sports bra with the Aurora shorts, six inch. You know I love that six incher, all right? This is in the color. Alaska slash Midnight Navy, all right, two in one. Check out these shorts. Look at how particular they were with the placement of the colors. The colors are placed in such a way to emphasize the curves. You know those bodycon optical illusion dresses? Yeah, that makes the waist look snatched. They play with that block contour to make it look so. This has a very retro wavy design. This color palette, this light and blue look, just reminds me of swim shorts too. I feel like this is something I could swim in, even though you definitely can't because it's made out of the new Bray fabric. New Bray fabric is one of my favorites from Buff Bunny, very soft. You know me, I'm not interested in working out in New Bray fabric. I would just sweat up too much and it would just be a mess. However, these are great shorts for going out. I love the length, six inches is great. There's no roll up because of the length. And not to mention, I mean, in case you happen to be squatting down, these are super squat proof. Their New Bray fabric's great for that. Overall, super duper comfortable. We need to talk about the sports bra though. I think they did a great job at the block contour on the sports bra. I love the fact that they made the straps a different color. It goes right down the sides. It's very comfortable. You have really thick straps. The band is ever so slightly snug. So that's why I feel like with the shorts in this bra, if you're in between, you could totally size up rather than down because you might regret it. It can get a little snug around there. I think the backing is nice and simple and straightforward. It attaches right in the center, but I would definitely have to give this more of a low to my moderate support. The reason why I would give it a low support is because it actually comes pretty low. Even though it has a very squared off neckline, it is flattering. I know that some of Buff Bunny's bras, when they're super duper cute, they can run the risk of like being a nip slip. When I bring my hands forward, like say I was doing a chest fly. Yeah, no, I'm looking right down at my nip. <laughs> I am right now, okay? If you're considering working out in the sports bra, do keep that in mind. It runs a little bit low, depending on your chest size. I know for me, any lower right here, you would have been seeing some nip. I grabbed the same exact set in the pink lights slash onyx black color. This color specifically, I'm not seeing beach wear. I am now seeing wearing this in the background of a Richard Simmons workout video. Fun fact, I actually used to work out with my mom in her bedroom while she had Richard Simmons on. And I'd be like, what is she doing? I was like, what, seven, six? And I'm like, why is she toe tapping like that? And then I would look and see Richard Simmons and a little backup dance, they're all doing the thing. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I wanna join in too. Now it's time to turn the sweat on. And I remember he would say, shake your booty. And I would ask my mom, I was like, mom, what's a booty? And I guess I was too young to know that it's a 
you know, a booty. Just shake that booty. And she would tell me it means sneakers. Anyway, shout out Richard Simmons, he's fabulous. And so is the set. I think this is just enough color where it's like, acceptable. I know some of you guys, you watch these videos, you're like, if the patterns are too out there, I'm not interested. I think this is just enough where it's like, okay, it's breaking the piece up, it still looks very flattering, they added the block contour in certain areas that really just highlight the body itself, and they didn't add any funny business. <laughs> There's no funny business going on here. So yeah, this is the same exact set that I just shared with you, just a different color. I couldn't choose between the two. Now, I wasn't too keen on getting the black and white version of this, for some reason, when it's that heavy of a contrast where it's like black and white, completely opposite, that big white chunk, I'm just gonna wanna take a marker and just color it in to also go with that set in case I wasn't interested in wearing the shorts. I actually grabbed the Aurora legging. I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now that this legging is beautiful in all of its simplicity. All they added when it comes to the pop of color is this one and only seam, this curved glute seam right at the top wrapped all the way around and straight across. There's no other color pop, nothing at all. This is still made out of the Nubre fabric, if in between size up. Light to medium compression, more on the moderate side, I would say. So if you're not a huge fan of color block on top of color block, check out these leggings for a more minimal approach. It's got a 26 inch inseam. It's okay on me, slightly long by like maybe an inch. When it comes to Nubre leggings or shorts, just Nubre fabric in general, I'm starting to feel like my true size small is okay. It's getting on the brim of being a little too snug around the glutes for me. So that's why I'm saying if you're in between size up, I'm okay with my true size small for now because it's at least it's not really tearing at my waist. You know what I'm saying? But even though it's snug around the glutes, still not even a little bit sheer. I couldn't help but also grab the other color combo, the Midnight Navy and the Alaska Blue Aurora Legging. So I grabbed the Aurora Legging and I actually paired it with a solid Legacy bra. So this is just Midnight Navy. I already went over the Aurora Legging, so let's just do a quick rundown of this Legacy bra. This is actually super similar to the Aurora bra. If you really look at it, I mean, it's got the same wide squared off neckline, no adjustments, removable bra pads, you even have a really thin elastic band here, just like this one. The same cut underneath the arms. They're so very similar. If you guys remember the Legacy bra, this isn't necessarily a new piece, but they did trim it up a little bit. There's a little less of a long line fit. The asymmetrical design on the back is probably the biggest change up. Check it out. I think this is so beautiful. On the one side, you have a real bulky strap. On the other side, it turns into three separate strappy pieces. This is when I really admire Buff Bunny's designs. When they think a little differently, outside the box, this is not something you see typically. I like this design a lot. Same low support as the Aurora bra. Nothing different there. A lot of similarities, still made out of the new Bray fabric, so a lot of similar characteristics. I actually just grabbed the same exact legging for my mom. I recently turned her on to Buff Bunny leggings. She goes to the YMCA a lot, so she's like, Ash, I need some new leggings, what do you suggest? I was like, well, maybe the awfully amplified. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I was like, okay, well, we don't wanna do a scrunch bum, right? So I was like, you know what? This is mom friendly. So I turned my mom on to the legacy leggings because those have been my favorite for the longest time from Buff Bunny. She loves them. She loves the quality. So now I got her the curve because I think she's gonna really like them. And speaking of the legacy legging, I actually just got my mother-in-law and sister-in-law their own legacy leggings. They're loving it. My mom's loving it. It's a whole family affair at this point. We're all rocking the Buff Bunny legacy leggings. Let me share with you the two tops that I grabbed from this launch. I grabbed the Cloud Knit Reversible Crop Top in black. It will also be available in ivory. I was debating between the two, but I was like, well, I got nothing here that's ivory. There's no built-in pads, no built-in support. This is a come as you are kind of shirt. I tried it over the black sports bra. It looks um, kind of funny because it's like, why are you wearing it underneath? It's not meant to be like that. Oh my God, if this isn't the cutest crop top to wear out, high-waisted skirt, jeans, you name it. Even a maxi skirt would look hella cute with this. It is very stretchy and it's super comfortable. Only issue, 
I think the sleeves are ever so snug on me. I always seem to have that issue with tight, short sleeves. The twist front is really super cute, but if you're like, damn girl, that is way, way too showy. Flip it on around and you can get a full coverage, but then now your back's gonna be showing out. This one in particular does have a buff bunny emblem, emblem sewn right onto it. I would say very true to size, very, very true to size. If in between, I mean, for me, I'd know I'd probably size up only because could you imagine any tighter on the sleeves? No thanks. But I know not everybody has that issue. So I do think that depends. I think stick to your true size really depends on the whole arm thing. If you're like me, everything's snug around the arms, size up if in between. If you're like, that's never an issue, I usually have some extra space here, then you can get away with sizing down if in between. I also grabbed the Recycled Crew Pullover. I know what you're thinking from the camera. Okay, it looks like a basic pullover, okay, Ash. Nah, that's coming in onyx black or the color eggshell. I obviously grabbed black, plus we're entering into the fall season. I'm like, okay, enough with the ivories, eggshells, stardusts. Give me some black now. The thing is, is when it came in, this is actually not onyx black. It's more of a just darker shade of gray. And the reason is, is because this material is out of this freaking world. When I took it out of the package, I wish someone was recording me because I was genuinely like, Dude, it is the softest freaking thing I've ever, it feels like silk. I'm not kidding. There's definitely silk in this, is there not? No, there's not. It's made out of recycled polyester, modal, and spandex. This is a very relaxed fit pullover. Great for wearing over your gym set. You can totally wear this to warm up, cool down at the gym, come and go, throw this on. Very true to size if you like that relaxed fit. You could size down if you're like, nah, it's a little too baggy for me. The stretch is great. Look at that stretch. It's about a mid crop length. So it's not too cropped and it's definitely not a full length. My biggest takeaway from this, even though it's a simple piece, it's just one color, there's no pop of anything going on here. It's just so powdery soft. I was gonna save the best for last, but I'm not. I'm going to talk about it right here, right now. It has to be said. I am so very excited to bring to you guys the curve legging and curve bra in the color Alaska blue. This is the lightest blue of the bunch. You saw it in the other piece. It is all one solid Alaska blue. There's no blacks, no contour here whatsoever. They call this legging a wedgie fit. Nowadays, I love wedgies. Back in the day, I was just picking them. Now, it's just like, give me a wedgie in my leggings, would ya? Now, I don't know if this is their way of saying it's a scrunch, cause it's not. And even looking at it, there's nothing scrunch bum about it. It looks like a normal seam. But when you actually put these on, whew, it just works wonders. It really enhances the glutes. This is a much thinner material than say the Nubre. This is their butter fabric. Oh, I love it so much because it's thinner, it's just lighter, a little more breathable. The stretch is amazing in this. A lot stretchier than the Nubre fabric. Now out of everything you're gonna see in today's video, this is probably the only set that I would actively work out in. What comes with thinness? Low support, okay? So this is a very, very light support legging, not something to be running in or jumping in. I certainly wouldn't. It does not conceal cellulite, but here's some serious pros to this legging other than the glute enhancement. Very squat proof. For this light of a color, again, I squat in those black briefs. This was very impressive in that department. It wasn't 100% squat proof, but it was pretty dang good for being this thin of a material and it being this light of a color. I performed the sweat test in this. I didn't see any sweat show through. And I was pretty generous with my sprays. I did about 10 to 12, like I usually do. It absorbed the sweat off my skin and left it dry. So this is super breathable, great at sweat concealment. It is also a 26 inch inseam. These are so stinking stretchy. If you're in between, you absolutely could get away with sizing down if you wanted to, but my true size is perfect. Love that they kept the arched glute seam. That V seam is life. Buff Bunny is so known for that. I don't think they'll ever not have that. Something to note about these leggings is that you do have a seam breakup. It is tonal, don't worry, there's no color pop. It goes right down the hip and it crosses over the leg underneath the kneecap. This seam does not bother me because it's not going over my joints. It's not going over my kneecaps. I'm not feeling the seam when I put it on. I didn't even notice it till I really examined this piece. I wouldn't have noticed that there was a seam running down my leg. That's how comfortable these leggings are. If you guys caught any of my Paragon videos, this is awfully similar to their rec stretch material. The one that had that tie-dye design, which I really love. This is what it reminded me of, especially because this has a natural like glute wedgie. This is my favorite legging out of everything today. The sports bra is okay. <laughs> 
nothing to write home about. I actually struggle putting my freaking fat head through this hole. I got all my makeup all over this. This is overall a light support. You do have pretty high coverage. So it's a higher neckline, simple racer back, no band at the bottom. In fact, you have a curved under bust seam. I'm seeing this a lot nowadays. This is a very trendy look and I don't know if I love it. Man, there's a thing called gravity. And when my boobs, you know, do their natural thing, you don't see this curved seam here. You don't even see that. It just gets tucked right underneath my, my boob and then it just looks like it's folded under. I love the idea of it, it's different, but I just don't think it's really functional, this design itself. Other than that, it's pretty decent sports bra. It's the same exact butter fabric as the leggings. You still have removable bra pads. It is not adjustable if you're in between 100% size up because it can get snug. I notice right around armpit area towards the back is where I start to feel a little snugness. This bra is definitely recommended for smaller busts. Great for long, hot girl walks, lounging, that kind of thing. So I actually grabbed their ombre sets. Wowie. This is the Rosa legging and the Aurora sports bra. This Aurora bra showed up three times in this video. You're welcome. So this is their navy ombre. Let's start with the legging. It starts at a very dark navy blue and it goes into a really pretty light blue. Let me compare it to the Alaska blue. So it's not quite as light as the light Alaska blue. I don't know what it is about this ombre design. Something about this legging fits a little bit better than the Aurora legging for me. Perhaps it's this ombre design that's making it just feel a little bit stretchier, a little lighter compression, not as snug. If you spread apart the material, that's when you can see underneath it. This legging has a light blue liner inside. So if you bend over and you're seeing some light blue coming through, it's not sheerness. It is in fact the inner lining. For me, when I wore it, I thought, Holy crap, this looks like the Undead collection. Those almost holographic leggings that they like to come out with, that's what this reminded me of. This is a very natural ombre design. Fades beautifully. There's no awkward different print where it goes from super dark to light. It's a very pretty natural look to it. Again, full length, 26 inch inseam. If in between, then you can size up. Now moving on to the bra. I'm glad they came with a matching ombre bra. I don't get it twisted. It's just, um, it's okay, this ombre design. And the only reason I say that is because this part right here just bothers me. It goes ombre all around town. It's picture perfect until you get to this seam here. I would have rather to see the whole design continued around only because it's an ombre design. This just kind of looks like a mistake now. It goes around the back too, very similarly. Like you see that? There's just a patch of ombre in the back. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> All right guys, so that concludes my haul and what I have here to share with you. I have to say out of every single thing in today's video, the curve leggings really just blew me away. The fit, the feel, everything about them. I'm just like, yes, if there's one single thing you should get in this launch, it's those. And in fact, they're like the ones that don't have the block contour. <laughs> Buff Bunny, if you're watching this, please come out with more butter fabric pieces. Now, if you stay to the end and you wanna hear about everything that's dropping in this collection, this part is for you. Right, guys so that is that again if you have any questions comment down below i'd be happy to answer them for you don't forget this collection inner lights is launching august 12th at 2 p.m eastern standard time and again 
my code Gated does give you 10% off at checkout. Helps Bay and I do what we love here on this channel, which is deliver videos to you. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate it. I love you guys, and I'll catch you in my next video. Guess what?